So on the last episode of Prophet's Resurrection Land Cruiser TV, we showcased this restoration right here and all of its features. This time we're going to show you how these things come into being here and all of the processes and steps that each Land Cruiser takes as it travels through the shop. Most restorations begin with the customer calling to talk about their Land Cruiser. Sometimes over hours of communication, we nail down exactly what the modifications or restoration of their Land Cruiser should be. Usually a Land Cruiser is shipped to the shop for restoration. It's nice to be able to meet the customer in person, but the fact that most of our Land Cruisers come from out of state means that often we don't meet the customer until the project is completed. You're going to change your name from Black to Dude or to Desert Tan. No matter what the nature of the project is, we begin each restoration with a pre-build meeting. Okay, so this is Bighorn, we're gonna call codename Bighorn, 1981 FJ40 Stage 3 Body Off Restoration with some modifications. The staff and I meet and we go over the details of the project, then everybody's on the same page. And the principal uh, body tech is gonna be Matt because he's almost done with the one that he's doing and he's warmed up because this is gonna end up being the same color as the one that he just did, desert tan. This was originally white, then somebody put this milky, gross yellow on it. We're gonna go back with desert tan. After the pre-build meeting, the vehicle is inspected before being tore down. Matt's lucky today because one of the coolest things we do is tear apart a Land Cruiser for restoration. Probably there's stuff under these seats that have been there since 1981 when this was new. And maybe these seat covers have been on there since 1981 when this is new. Matt, what have you found in here so far? Anything good? Um, uh, probably the most interesting thing I've found so far is a actual uh, 1981 FJ owner's manual. Oh, sweet. Which is pretty rare to find uh, from what I've been told. So that's, that's the great treasure of the day. Everything else is pretty pretty thrash. What pretty about warm. the hat though? The hat's a pretty good treasure. Yeah, hats are good. Anybody needs an Arctic uh, Russian Cossack hat, we've got two of them <laughs> in, in excellent shape. Sometimes custom modifications are done before the vehicle is completely disassembled. During the disassembly process, all of the parts are categorized and organized so that we know if there's anything missing and we can give each part the attention it deserves. If the customer is getting an engine conversion, usually the engine and transmission are mounted so that engine mounts and transmission cross members can be fabricated and all the welding is done before the frame gets refinished. After the vehicle modifications have been completed, the teardown is finished. At this point, all of the body panels, frame and subcomponents are distributed to different areas of the shop to be refinished. The body and all body components are sent out for sandblasting as is the frame. The frame is powder coated and body panels are meticulously refinished in-house. So we're here at CNR Powder Coating and they've been doing all of our powder coating for years. This frame behind us you might recognize as an FJ40 frame and it's for a body off restoration that we'll be featuring in another episode. It's a little bit different looking, see if you can notice why. These are some of the other bits that are for the special project that we uh, looked at the frame for a minute ago. You can probably recognize some of these parts as Land Cruiser parts. And behind me, there's four packs of leaf springs completely taken apart and all powder coated individually. So this is Bob and you remember him from episode four. Um, he's getting ready to do something for this restoration. Tell us a little bit about it, Bob. I'm getting ready to mix up some factory green paint. This is our mixing bank, and I'm just adding the colors, and I'm going to weigh it out and mix it up. <laughs> this is the building shaker. So <laughs> this is supposed to shake the paint, but turn it up. <laughs> 
So these aren't all of the parts of a Land Cruiser, but we took the time to lay out as many as we had ready of all of the small parts and all the subcomponents that we've had to pay attention to for this restoration. All of these Land Cruiser parts that are here are from the same 1982 FJ40. Some of them have been zinced, others have been sent to black powder coating, and some of them have been heat treated for engine temperature resistance. There's also a good bit of silver aluminum powder coating that's engine component and exhaust shield component related. These yellow boxes are full of all of the original fasteners for this Land Cruiser that have been hand refinished. Having all the parts laid out like this gives us a really good idea of just how daunting the task is ahead. And these parts are all the factory parts. There's nothing aftermarket included here. Before paint, often our bed liner product called Vortex is sprayed on the underside or the inside of the Land Cruiser's tub. So David, we saw you spraying this a little bit earlier and uh, tell us a little bit about how much material you put on the bottom of this and why. All right, this um, is a total of about six gallons, which is more than enough usually to spray a couple of trucks. Uh, the reason why we put that much on, that high of build, is simply to uh, provide some sound deadening. It uh, tampens the uh, sound down from the um, bare sheet metal and also provides a significant amount of uh, heat uh, resistance. Vortex adds a lot of utility to every build because it's virtually indestructible and is a great barrier against future damage and rust. This frame behind me is fresh back from powder coating and we've assembled the springs and the axles underneath. Ray's gonna go ahead and put those axles together and then we can lower it down and get it rolling. So this frame is getting a two and a half inch old man emu suspension and Ray here has got the front axle bolted up and uh, what are you doing, Ray? Oh, I'm just cleaning the outer knuckles here so that I can start assembling the knuckles, get the tires on the frame so that we can get it rolling and then I'll put brake lines and all that good stuff on. So this frame is almost ready to put the body on. You can see all of the jewelry that Ray's been bolted up to the engine, and uh, this is one of the coolest pictures of a Land Cruiser frame, like the coolest stages of a Land Cruiser frame. Uh, you can see all of the detail, all the little mechanical components, super fun to look at. I love it. So a few days ago, that body tub wasn't even painted. In fact, you saw a video of all of the parts for that Land Cruiser scattered out all over the floor. Now, most of the parts have been reassembled here and there. The frames back together, as you just saw, and the body tub is being reassembled in the background. Pretty soon, we'll go ahead and put that body tub on the frame. It's not very often that you get to see two Land Cruiser bodies going on the frame in the same day, but we're lucky enough today that this FJ43 Stage 2 Plus restoration body is going on the frame just like the green one you saw a minute ago. After the body is placed on the frame, the reassembly process begins in earnest. It's a meticulous process because there's lots of pieces that need to be bolted back on, but it's also the most fun. When a restoration is completed, we always put the vehicle through a rigorous testing process. So when a Land Cruiser is finished or nearly finished, we realize we've spent so much time and effort getting it to this point and restoring every piece and we've literally had our hands on almost every part of this Land Cruiser. So it makes sense to spend a lot of time going through it and making sure that everything is just so and ready to last another 30, 40, 50 years. So what Mark's doing is uh, just kind of going over things because this Land Cruiser is in its test time. Mark, what are you looking for when, uh, when you're going through and inspecting like this? Anything that's, that's rubbing, you got leaks you want to look for, you, you want to make sure everything has the clearances that it needs, um, flows, and a lot of stuff is just securing up all the little stuff wiring and hoses and just making sure there's plenty of room for stuff and making sure we got everything. We don't want to miss anything, really. It's a lot of pieces to look at. 
lots of pieces. But this one's not looking too bad. I think we're about done. We have had our hands on every component, so it only makes sense that the testing procedure be thorough. Often we test the vehicles on and off-road for a period of a few weeks before returning them to the customer. Give me your ba best Putin accent. <laughs> My best Putin, I don't know what Putin sounds like. He sounds Russian. I kind of expect you to tell me how I look right before each scene, like look good. Okay, ready? Your hair's messed up, your eyes kind of tweaked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here we okay. go. He uttered a few Russian words. You're Russian, you're Russian, you're Russian. No, I'm not, I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs>